All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Here's the Fathom. I'm incredibly frightened. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this one. I know that this one touches on some scary ass shit. I am tired. It's the middle of the night. It's almost two in the morning for me. But we're here. We're playing because I need to get videos recorded and edited and scheduled so that way I don't forget to do it. <laughs> Move things out of the way so I can actually reach my computer. You know, that's a good thing. Okay. That being said, the, the fifth one, the fifth one has sort of been announced now. There's actually stuff out for it, so looking forward to that. Oh, how long is this one going to be? <laughs> Two hours? Two hours? Oh god. Okay. Let's do it. Let's hop on in, I guess. Ironbark Lookout. May 12th. Terrified. Uh, hold on a second. My camera is in, like, the worst spot possible. Grab it! Okay. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of a weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. Already sounds terrifying. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. I live in the Pacific Northwest. I don't like this. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself out to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. I hate driving. As far as I'm aware, the music is not copyrighted in this. I'll read it when we get to it. Uh, park your truck around the back on gravel car. Got it. Gold Creek, Gold Creek Trail. Billy. Okay. Oh, I'll listen to music. Oh, thank you. I lived a very solitary life. This is because I turned the music off. It helps quiet my mind and keep the memories at bay. No oh, memories. You're 24. <laughs> I'm a bad driver. Did I even introduce myself? Did I just hop into this and be like, yeah, we're playing Fierce to Fathom today, guys? Uh, yeah, by the way, if I, I... I don't know if I actually said it. My name's Maya. It's great to meet all of you. Uh... <laughs> I always love the great outdoors. I'm incredibly lost to what we're doing right now. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Is this really gonna take two hours? Oh my god. Woo! Hey, yawns, my dude. After this, I'll probably take a nap before I get back up to do some more recording. I remember there's a diner in town past the they have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. This isn't scary at all. Rose Burke. I'm assuming it will tell me where I need to stop, right? This diner? This scary-ass diner? 
I can't drive for the life of me. I wasn't very proud of my driving, you think? <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Okay. And drive worth a damn in this game. This is interesting. Oh, this is actually a really nice RV. A lot of windows, though. Kind of concerning. Look at my grand parking skills as I block the entryway to the diner. Welcome to this Wind River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Thanks. Um, I guess I want to sit in a booth by myself. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, onion. I'm allergic to onions. Thanks for asking. Uh, cheeseburger with fries. Uh, we'll take a Coke. I'll be all, thank you. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I've always had this habit of eating before eating. That's the. I mean, I guess. It's a it's a habit. Maybe to like wash our hands beforehand. I just know we're another guy. Man, how long you been holding it in? Do you want me to wash my hands? Right. Was my one gripe about the other game where you can wash your hands afterwards. Right. I just wait for our food now, I guess. Peaceful? Nice? Is that my food? For me? For me? Yes, yeah. Brave consuming. Consume the burger. I can't stand the chewing in my ears. So how did it end up going? Was good. I'm here still eating. This is so good. You swig. Told you. Cool. Uh, we're done eating though. So can I stand up? Oh no, throw. Uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, just get the check, please. Thank you. Thanks very much. I'm on my home. Send, send you in a bit. Oh, the castle run. Okay, that's cool. It's cool, it's cool. It's great. Great, very great. I am actually extremely nervous for this game. Six dollars. What time period this is, but we'll do 15%. Yeah, thanks. Oh, <laughs> okay. Apparently, I can't throw away my trash. I'm sorry. I wish I could pick it up and throw it away for you. Uh, 
I didn't pause it to close it behind me, but maybe I didn't. You just left our RV running. Let me run into everything on the way. Let's go. Ten minutes in and we've yet to actually do anything. Great. Eight oh two PM. If I if I could have a single gripe about any of the fierce abandoned games, it's the fucking driving. I just can't stand driving with Waz. I want to include the location of this park. Okay. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Having lived having lived lived, currently lived. In the Pacific Northwest, I would never. No, thank you. I drove my RV onto the foot rail. Foot trail. Oh, am I not supposed to? There's literally a sign that says do not enter by I thought it's because it was staff. I should have taken it easy. We technically don't have our permit right now. This is very unsettling. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Also, uh, because I forgot to look, what are the what are the achievements in this one? Survive, tip the waitress. You can tip tip the waitress generously, fifty percent, and you get a, get a trophy for that. Ooh. There's apparently somebody in the dining room parking lot who are more than five hundred in the mini game. And can I can I see the hidden achievement, please? that an option? Top of the morning. Complete watching the top of the morning. Yeah, septic highs in this one. I forgot about that. Okay, right, that's cool. Um, we've already missed <laughs> we've already missed two of the two of the achievements. That's great. It's great, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Iron Bark State Park. Fucking Mhm. <laughs> no, I hate. scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Val, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Why would it be unstaffed? Let me open the trail gate for you. you're arriving this late, you might also need the flashlight for the long height for your lookout. Thanks. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. 
This doesn't <laughs> give this doesn't inspire me with happiness. Yeah, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. Uh, he'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thanks, Billy. Uh, FPU. Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Don't ask questions, just go with it. Bobcats and bears. Nasty, nasty business. Bobcats and bears are the issue. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. I don't. Do you know nothing about the Pacific Northwest? Do you know nothing? I left my bag in the RV at first. I knew that. I, I knew that. The music's already very unsettling, and I'm not okay with it. Trying to kill our fucking trailer. And drive with the door wide open. You can take the fucking keys out, which is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> this music is very unsettling. I know two of my least favorite things the woods and the ocean. <laughs> Are the worst things in my in every situation. So the fact that this is taking place in the middle of the night in the woods in the Pacific Northwest where I live does not inspire me with safety. It doesn't fill me with safety or comfort or anything. Oh, oh, oh. I'm being a little over dramatic, but it's I'm wigging myself out. It was a long hike <laughs> and it was starting to get cold now. Hour eleven. On ionizing radiation. I'm actually dying right now. Iron Bike Tower 11, Lakes Trail 3.2, Gold Creek Trail. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Yeah. Of that, I've got no doubt. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Hey, hey, I'm all I'm all for living in the outdoors and everything, but I don't think I could ever live alone in the outdoors, you know? Like this is just plain old terrifying. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires and anything out of the ordinary. Having a soul with the aroma of wood give me the sense of comfort. Do we have firewood? I spent only in my new home for the next few months. I would be quitting so fast. Osborne Firefinder is like a giant compass the size of pizza. That's cool. We use it to spot the fire on the map. Got to turn the generator on first. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna throw heat. Wait, so go turn on the generator. This is all kinds of concerning if I'm being completely honest with you.
Okay. Generator's on. Can I grab that? No? And Okay. Interesting. Ah, you're supposed to go up the stairs. To the fire towers. You would not believe your eyes. The million fireflies. Lit up the world as I fell asleep. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then we're just gonna... Yeet. Video equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Redos, rainbow, multicolor, digi... I'm not reading fast enough. Starting Rainbow 98. User Tower 11. Check the Iron Bark Rules Flyer. The rules. Static. Okay, where is the rules? Rules Flyer. Rules Flyer. Runs the rules flyer. Flights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops handed out every Sunday. No guests in the lookout. Iron bark. I don't remember. So iron bark 11. Refill generator routinely. Updating report software. No video games. Remember to call your sister's station before you sleep. Ask for extra supplies next week. Call John tomorrow. Send photos to Mitch. Call Billy. Request come on support. Call John. Iron Bark 11. Okay. This is old as fuck, boy. I say, but I was only born in 2001, so like, only a few years before I was born. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Clickety click, here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? Here's a random fact for you. Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, continues to snow about a quarter of an inch. 0.6 centimeters taller each year due to tectonic plate movement. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with some coastal areas experiencing winds reaching up to 200 miles per hour. That's insane. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Awesome. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. Why? We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job, which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Obvious. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. 
We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Yeah. Followed Keep sound advice. Daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. <laughs> After collecting the data, input it into our state of the art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Oh, wait, the of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Immediately. Way to go, Jack. We'll put the morning to ya. Okay. Uh... Help. Text for available updates, current version, small system. Uh, H. Update. Oh. Oh, it says no system. Okay. Uh. Okay. I don't think there's much else we can do right now. Okay, what about like that EXD? Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and aim for the head. Huh, interesting. Oh, no, I'm dead already. I missed, I missed, I missed. God. It helps if I can actually hit them. Interesting. Oh shit, I missed. What is happening with this game? The 
little game inside of a game. It's cute. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, that doesn't do anything. I thought it was an explosive. Oh shit, I missed. Is, this, is it just gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over again? Actually, hit the motherfucker. Happening here. Huh. There's more zombies somewhere? I'm so lost. Okay, um, we might have to call this one. I think we're done with this little mini game. It's interesting, I just don't think there's anything else here. I just don't think there's anything else in here. What the fuck? Okay. Alright. Cool. We're done with that. Go, Matt. Whether you're playing to hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. Golden Lake. I got in pass. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Thanks. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Get over here, you piece of shit. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of shit. What is happening? Interesting. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. My wife. That's my home. Nice, happy cabin. You guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Is what even is this game? This game. Half an hour into this, I don't, I don't know if we've done anything. Okay, this is great. This is great. Things great. Nothing is in the bin. I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive.
alive again. This. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Hi. You were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just uh, looking for a change. Transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. Hey, I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Uh, no. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks. Um, and I'm assuming there's no firewood up here, which means we need to go get some, right? Yeah, I don't see any up here. Cool. Oh, I hate this. This game makes me incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. Okay, apparently I cannot go grab firewood, so what am I lighting in here? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood oh. stove should be around the entrance. Get her. Fucking hell. burn my tower down on accident. The oven's on, though. How am I supposed to be lighting this right now? As far as I'm aware, there's no fucking wood in here. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. <laughs> Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Yeah, okay. I need to go grab must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. So, like, yeah, I have gasoline here. After I made a mess of it. Can I go grab firewood now? What even is this game? This game makes me so uncomfortable. All the first of fathoms make me uncomfortable. I don't know, it's just the fact that they're like real life experiences that somebody else has like encountered in real life, like it just it hits me wrong. What do you need gasoline for in the fire do you not see the gasoline on the fucking fire first Is there not, in fact, gasoline there now? Fucking finally. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice yeah. to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No. Give me a second. Let me get to it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. How do I report? What am I? Smoke. Did you light it up? Wood stove should be. We've already gone through that. Um. Temperature, wind speed.
I'm supposed to find this information. Giant compass the size of pizza. And then. Uh... Cloudy. The chance on meeple. So what how am I supposed to get the fucking the temperature, the wind speed, you know, all that random ass shit? How do I get that? Like this thing will just take up with us. But where do I get the temperature from? Is it this thing? PC Trail, Golden Creek Trail. Okay, so 18 knots. 19? I'm assuming this is the temperature. How do because I, I don't know how to get the temperature. Okay. Get on up. Oh my god, so much of this is probably going to have to be cut out because this is going to be a super long episode. There's a cat outside my window. Weather condition, it's cloudy. Uh, measure weather conditions, provide them in log accurate data. 18. Zero. Yeah. Oh no. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. And <laughs> try this again. Uh right weather condition. Thunderstorm. Uh Windy. Yes. Clear. Oh, it counted. Did you copy, new guy? Right. Tower 11, copy. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Over and out. Uh, I guess bedtime. Uh, let me just throw everything real quick. Close the door, turn the lights out, and bedtime. Bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. 26 a.m. I already don't like any of this. Static? Connor? And if we have to get up, where did my light go? I, um, 
Where did... Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I don't know if I have to go to the bathroom. I... I... Gave me a strange feeling. Killing out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. I... <laughs> it gives me a very uncomfortable feeling. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Did I not just say I had to use the restroom? Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you just gonna pee off the side? It's raining. Imagine somebody just casually walking underneath. You know, I don't- I really don't like this, actually. Can we lock the door? Can we lock the door? Oh my god, can we lock the door? My cat is scratching at the window right now, it's actually terrifying me. Ew. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. It's very nice looking, not gonna lie, but it's also extremely terrifying. Line up the shot. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, how long? Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how long other people's playthroughs of this were, and it makes me feel better. Everybody else's playthroughs are also. Um, get one with the firehouse in the distance? Maybe, like, like that? That's a nice one. I think we're out of, I think we're out of drink. Were we sitting on the edge? Ooh, I also don't like that. Oh, give me a second. Tower 11, do you copy? Hey, that Connor, what's up? Son of a bitch! Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. <laughs> you have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Let me have a look. North of our position. North of our position? Smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. I do indeed. I am trying to get my ass back to you to confirm. Give me a minute. About that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. In the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, heading north. I'll report back on it. Over and out. Bear spray. Bear spray. Bear spray. That's something I need to carry with me. That's such terrifying. Uh, I hate this. Gotta go north. Gotta go north on the lacy trail. Gotta go north. Uh, is the bear? I thought the bear spray was near the utility shed, but uh, if it's in here, let me take a look real quick. You know, bear spray. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, North Macy Trail. So 
go? How far do we have to go? How about we don't? Bears. Bears don't want to fuck with me. Bear spray. Face you in the face. Cold. I follow the trail that led me to this. It's dark. Why didn't we grab a flashlight? Camping violators will be removed. She gives the best head. Oh, these people have been hung. No camping. The rest of you might try it tonight. Oh, it's actually the pictures I took. Nice. Hello? 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 Something tells me it's not us. There. Anybody there? Area beyond that site was closed. So what do we do? I guess just put out the fire. This is giving me anxiety. The pot shaking is very indicative of how I feel right now. Okay, I can't pick anything else up. So. Gonna fire's out. We're gonna we're gonna head out. Art, it be pumping, it be pumping. As I hike back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind can help but think about what might have happened. Um, obviously they got hung. It froze. It froze. It froze. Okay, I'll be back. The game froze. Unfortunate. We are back. <laughs> I remember to grab the flashlight this time. But we put out the fire. I'm still very frightened. Very frightened. You want to fight? I hate all of this. As I hike back to my tower through the dark, then shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. But mine couldn't help but think what might have happened. <clears throat> I think it's gonna crash again. No, it didn't. Great. <clears throat> A windy out, ain't it? Pretty windy. Okay. I report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Uh, go on the 
parking counter. Loser. <clears throat> Tower 12, do you copy? Connor, do you copy? I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Engine scream. <laughs> a manly one. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? Ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What happened to the kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. The Native American, you hear whistling the goddamn fucking woods, you turn around and you walk away. You don't go towards it, you don't, you don't look in that direction, you don't acknowledge it, period. You turn around and you leave. Warning you. <laughs> People started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Turn around, walk away. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of unsettling. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Right. Anyways. Please don't bring my culture into this. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Agreed. You be safe, new guy. Over and out. You too. Over and out. Okay. That being said, I think it's time for bed, which means we need to get the knots. Seventeen. East. Oh, Seventeen. Forty-eight. Uh, yeah. Okay. Forty-eight. Seventeen. And win. Zero. Goodbye. Clear. Cloudy. Cloudy. Okay. Honor. Six minutes earlier. Okay. Right. Do we even have the stuff to make a pasta bake? Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni. Marinara sauce. I can't read. Sardines. What does this one say? I can't read. What does that say? How about. Marinara sauce. Peroni, mozzarella cheese, tomatoes. Me. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mozzarella. Why do you have so much sardine? Uh, and tomatoes. 
tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Why are your big beans in the fridge? I'm just grabbing everything out of your fridge. I'm sorry. Why is all this stuff in the fridge? I'm trying to cook myself some dinner and then go to bed. What is it? What they say? Really? Eating in bed. I would not be eating this in bed. Chewing in my ears. There's chewing in my ear. My ear holes are not enjoying that. already full. You made an entire... You made an entire plate of casserole and you're not even gonna eat it all? It, we don't have room in our fridge! I'd get a wood stove. Fucking horse. Okay. Goddamn wood up here, do we? I would just be keeping a stockpile of wood up there with us. Keep us from having to come down here to grab wood. I'm not going to acknowledge the walking around that, that I just heard. I'm just not going to acknowledge it. Nope, not at all. I'd be locking the door and staying in there. Good night. Not my problem. Can we lock the door? Did I not just pour gasoline on there? Whatever. Whatever. Bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. Boards outside before. What boards outside? Always close the boards outside. What boards? What boards? What are you talking about? Repeat after me. Only you can stop forest fires. What the hell are we talking about? What boards? I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. 
What does that mean? What does this mean? Always close the board in iron box. What boards? Somebody, somebody's response was, you just go outside and you close the boards. Okay, yeah. The problem is, what freaking boards are we talking about here? Hold on. Hold on. I just, I, I'm confused. I need to figure this out. Hi, everyone. I'm back. It's a new day. In case you couldn't tell. Um, and I did figure out what close the boards meant. This is what they meant by close the boards. I wish this was a little bit more obvious because I really did not realize that's what this that that's what this meant. So I don't know if it'd freak me out more or less I wouldn't be able to see out the windows. And why not why just this one window? Does this mean we can lock the door as well? Because that'd be great. Okay. That time? Time to sleep. Great. Also, I made a new purchase today. I got a fish! This is now gonna be the void. He's gonna be great. Oh. I was awoken by some feeling that caused my eyes to Somebody outside the window! It's music. What am I supposed to do? What do I 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 do? Turn down the sound. If I can't hear it, it's fine. If I can't hear it, it's fine. I do. am I supposed to do? Like, do I, do I confront? Do I confront? Hold on, I need an answer, because I don't, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I do! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do?
I didn't know what to make it of it at that moment. The well, logical thing I could think of was the contact Connor. Great idea. Can we lock the door? Locking the door an option. Is locking the door an option? Is locking the door an option? Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Mention the school? Um, I don't think these are kids messing around. This is serious, you don't understand, do you? Which is the problem. That is indeed the problem. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Tomorrow might be too late. You're not wrong. It'll be morning before you know it. Ah, I sure hope so. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Yeah. We're not. Thanks. Connor didn't make any sense. There's not much else that much else I could have done in the dark. How do we lock the door? How do we lock the door? How the fuck do we lock the door? Fuck. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. Damn right. Damn right. Old RM. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in around the tower. There are. Or by scanning densities of trees all around me. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Why are our thingies so fucking. Yeah, why were they so dirty? Player. I want more information. What do uh, what do we do with that information? What 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 do we do? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Do do drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Gonna close all these. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is all very terrifying. Thanks for asking. Can we block off the stairs? Is that an option? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, I need Uh, I feel comfortable facing my back to an open door. I mean, that's valid. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Alright, take a deep breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> now, what's going on? I What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Right. Can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. I mean... Red jacket. Camo pants. Camo pantalones, green back. 
And what's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Oh no, surrounded by trees. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Ah. Huh. you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Small stream. What direction are you facing? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. In... Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. You what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Uh... Add a trail insertion. The right trail or the left to get back to the trail. Okay. Uh trail map. Okay. Help me. Small stream, trailhead. I'm trying to figure this out. Hold on. Point, shelter, camp, picnic, open. trails? Near stream? Facing west? I don't know. I don't know. What's the right answer to this? Hold on. I'm Googling it. I don't want to send him the wrong way. Helping hiker. Boss. Uh... We kill him on accident? Uh, okay. He's the first person to die? The fuck you mean? Is there a way to actually help him? None of these things are helping me. You know what? None of these are helping me. I can't read a map to save my life. We're gonna trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the My right brain trail says go the left first. Get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I honestly have no idea where he's at, so who knows? He could be right. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. You're good. What do you mean? I hear you. What do you mean you hear me? I hear your whistles. I'm in the tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Um. Um. Do I have to get this? I can't pick that up. Why was it so dark? What took you so long in there? <laughs> I've been knocking for- No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Asked tricking on you. What were you up to, pal? This thing lost. Tiger. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Here you go, I feel I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I 
wouldn't screw around out there, pal. We're required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Stop cats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. That man? That man right there? How much you bet he's the one fucking with us? Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Just getting used to the new environment. I right, he's in on it. We have to mention it to him. I believe he's in on it. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it? Didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, getting late. I better get going now and just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. You're in on this shit, aren't you? Oh, he's in on it. I know this already. Something didn't look right. So this? Obviously it's not raining. We're not having heat waves. Not blizzard. Something didn't look right. 56.1. It won't even let me pick that up, so. I'm gonna have to trust that's right. I'm gonna go back to the clear. 56.1. Right, that's what it said. 56.1. Iron Bark Fire Department. It won't let me pick. It won't let me pick it up. Like unless I can go pick up another one. He wants me to eat first. Are you serious? Meow. supposed to be doing here? The music's just gonna put me on edge. How many wood up here? What am I supposed to be doing? No system update available. So what am I supposed to be doing here? Because I can't pick this up. Fucking hell. That scared me. What am I supposed to be doing? Like, I- Let me- It says I'm hungry, but it won't let me grab this. How do I escape? How do I- Hold on, I'll be right back. Be right back. That's what I wanted to press. I wanted to press pause. Ah, fixed it. Now we can eat. So let us pick this up now. Then we can just get started on this. 
25. Oh, wait, no, let me back in. That's at 25. 58.4. 58.4. 25. 1. Jack. And uh, clear. Win. Win. Alright. Up. And go eat our food. I don't know why you like eating it. That's just weird. She's weird. Very weird, if I must say so myself. Ah, oh, I gotta hear him eating in my ear again. You can help prevent forest fires. We just bring some firewood up here. Oh, I probably won't be able to carry the fucking wood if I have that in my hand. I don't want to come down here. out there give me a heart attack <laughs> I understand lonely is gonna make the mom play tricks on you what are you doing here I need to be alarmed I'm a worker I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about Nice to meet you. You usually work this late. Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. You must ensure that the right message reaches the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right. We rely on information about fire siding. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. I'm... And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. This man is gonna murder us. That guy gave the creepiest vibes. You're telling me that man's gonna murder us. Oh yeah. This is that's what's gonna happen. This man is just gonna absolutely murder us. Okay. Okay. Need to light it up. Yeet. Uh, yeet. Uh, oh, it, it worked. There's smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? I'm right here. Give me a second. What do you want, Connor? Your copy now. 
loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? I am the Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower? <sighs> Just about yesterday. What do you mean? Trying to yank my chain now. What do you mean? That man's gonna murder us. It closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk Look, to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. I do not want to do that. Already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Night, Connor. Hour 12, signing off. Night over, over and out. Night over and out. Okay. Can we lock the door? Ooh, what's that? I am actually incredibly scared. Okay. Uh, so. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed up, then I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangers that I've seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. What do we see that changes that? Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. Okay. You, guy, you got a minute? Sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Uh, what is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much needed security patches. That, that is different from what it says in the subtitles. That says much required, not much needed. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Uh huh. Sweet, thanks for letting me know. Okay, uh, console? Help? Uh... Check update. Three updates on total. Rainbow S, security patch. How do I, how do I do this? Uh How do I how do I do this? Okay, wrong. So I apparently forgot to press record. Here we are, back again. Re doing this thing. Uh 487. Updating the computer, and now everything's green for whatever reason. Oh no, but we lost power! Whatever could we do with this? Besides, have an absolute heart attack. Besides, have an absolute heart attack. I don't really want to be down here. Don't really want to be down here. It's fine, it's fine. Getting cold and I had to pee. Why do we need to see through the bathroom door? Why can why do I need to be quiet in here? What is the problem? Fuck. 
I'm already beyond terrified of what's going to happen here. The um, implications of this is actually kind of terrifying. The implications are pretty terrifying, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm not here for this. I'm terrified. I also changed the the camera angle. Camera's over here. No longer here. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. This might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself, which... Mmm. Being, being a YouTuber, what do I do all the time? Oh. You copy? Deal to yourself. I don't want to deal with it. What do you want, Connor? Jack, you copy? I hear Connor. I tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Why does it say another? Why does it say another? He said more. All right, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Uh. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with it. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. I don't think I want to. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. You know, I really don't think I want to. Where's those fire at? Would be the better way to see them. Zoom. This is the Ku Klux Klan. Fucking Ku Klux Klan. The only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. be the great screenshot for the video, wouldn't it? <gasps> Shit! Move! Stop watching! Stop looking at him! Turn around and move! And make a run. That man have a fucking sickle in his hand. Can I sprint faster? Can I sprint faster? Can I sprint faster? Stuck on the door. Got stuck on the fucking door. Fuck. Fuck.
my god, will you just let me sprint? Okay, okay. Try this again this time. I'll be back. Here we are once again, feeling lost now and then. Breathe it in, let it go. How did they get over here so fast? That's the real question. Can I just stop watching him and just run? Fuck! I'll be back with you guys when I can successfully do this, I fucking guess. Fuck! run. Fucking, fucking finally, I don't think you guys understand how long that fucking took me. How do we get back to Billy's place? How do we get back to Billy? You know what? Fuck it. Where's our RV? Oh, turn around and look. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed it to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out there, Mitch answered. Stir crazy? Fucking stir crazy? Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. This is the Pacific Northwest. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The yeah, knees still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. 
My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities, so if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something right now. First of all, my heart rate, skyrocketing. It's... Yeah, okay. Uh, second of all, The amount of tries it took me to get into the fucking porta potty is astronomical. The fact that I could not, like, first of all, sprinting. That was the slowest sprinting I've ever I've ever seen. And that's not necessarily a developer's fault. It's just my fault because I'm I'm frustrated. I'm angry. And it's because I'm frustrated. It's not the developer's fault. It's not the game is not bad. I'm just angry. Mostly at myself because I could not fucking do it. It was a great game overall. I'm just very fucking frustrated because of how many tries that took. I don't, I don't, I'm just gonna stop talking about it. I'm, I'm done with this game. I'm done. We're done? We're done. We're gonna stop talking about it right now because I can't. I, nothing I have to say, don't say anything at all. That being said, great game developer. Um, I just don't think these are the games for me. I'm probably going to play the next one when it comes out regardless because I've already played all of them at this point. But I don't think these games are for me because the fact that there are no save points closer to where I've already fucking done anything is frustrating to me. That I can't just like restart after like hiding under the bed is fucking insane because like having to redo the entire that pretty much all of the, the chapter all the way up until that point. Like yeah, it doesn't take very long. But the fact that I have to do it anyways adds on so much time. Like, this could have been, I had to, I accidentally re had to restart the ep, um, I accidentally ended a recording and I had to, like, pick the recording back up. This was 20 minutes. That could have been 10 minutes if I didn't have to restart the fucking thing every single fucking time. Anyways, no, I'm done. I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, it, it's a game that exists. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you have any game suggestions, either leave them in the comments and or the game, um, the Google form linked in the in the description down below. But I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>